Hello, all you beautiful planty people. I'm Marina from Millennial Planter, and if you're new on this channel, I talk about all things houseplants, both the good and the bad. <laughs> Today, I am doing a houseplant tour. Welcome to my houseplant tour. And I haven't done this video in probably almost a year now. I really like doing houseplant tour videos because it's always cool just to look back and see how much my collection has changed and how much it's grown. And it's just cool to see like if I had smaller plants then and see how big they've gotten throughout the year. It's just, it's really cool just to see all that differences. Before I make this intro too long, let's just get into the tour because we have a lot of plants to cover. <laughs> so as you can see here, I have all my plants in just this one window. It's the biggest window in my house and yeah, this is just where everything has landed. I also have a lot of grow light action going on just because that window is filtered by a tree so it's just not enough sunlight for the amount of plants that I have. But let's just get on with the video. So first and foremost, we have my first plant, my OG, the one who started it all, and it is my Diefenbachia um, compacta or Seguin. It's one of those two. I've had this plant for about three, almost four years, and she's doing all right. She's kind of been dealing with thrips for a little bit. I think I got rid of them now. But yeah, she's she's okay. I just, I can't have her die on me. I don't want my first plant to die on me. <laughs> and over here we have a Hamalomina emerald green, I think that's what it's called. There we go. Over here, this big beauty is a Diefenbachia camouflage. This plant just, I love it so much. Going up here is a... Philodendron heteraceum, just a regular green one. And up here we have my Scindapsis pictus exotica. Sorry, that shelf might be a little messy. <laughs> and here we have the Philodendron heteraceum lemon lime, which is one of my top favorites. There you have a little grow light. And going down on this shelf here, I like to keep all my plant stickers from planty people or like plant people that make merch. Uh, here we have a golden pothos that has a dying leaf because everything has just been so dry this winter, it's hard to keep up. And here we have a philodendron rio. Really love this plant a lot more than the Brazil, to be honest. Now, behind this big Diefenbachia, we have a snake plant um, with a dying leaf because I am known to kill snake plants. Back there is another snake plant. Um, I think it's the Cylindrica. And this long trailing velvety beauty is a Philodendron Mykins. And behind this begonia, there is a Tradescantia. I forgot the name, but it has those really pretty purple undersides and it's super soft and fuzzy. And then we have another snake plant back there that I got from Ikea. And this whole shelf actually is from Ikea. I love it a lot. I can't wait to have more space and be able to showcase this little ladder better. Now moving over to this shelf, I will start at the bottom. Well, here we have Philodendron Mexicanum and that one is pushing out a new leaf, which is so exciting. Uh, hopefully one day soon I could get the leaves back to this big size again, but yeah, such an easy going plant. I love it a lot. It's massive though, as you can see, <laughs> taking up so much space and it has this giant moss pole that I can't ever keep moist. Here we have a Orbifolia, Calathea Orbifolia, and um, she is a little thirsty, a little on the floppy side, but look at that biggest leaf there. She has some crispy edges, but it just, it's just be like that sometimes, you know? <laughs> oh, and she's a little dirty. Here we have Calathea ornata. Look at those beautiful pink stripes. Uh, this was actually my second or third plant, and I'm surprised I still have her, but she's doing amazing. Here we have a Philodendron Burl Marks. And 
right here is a Calathea Zebrina. And in a little pumpkin planter, which is so freaking cute. Next is my begonia section. Um, here we have begonia Morris Amy and look at these beautiful leaves. She is just going insane as you can see there. Next is Begonia Coral Sea with its very shimmery specks. Then we have Begonia Whitey Eye, which is from Home Depot. Over here is Begonia Linda Dawn. Look at this beautiful leaf. Then over here is um, an unknown Begonia, just a no ID. Uh, has a dying leaf because I let her get way too thirsty. Like I said, I just can't keep up with watering this <laughs> season, but yeah, she has really beautiful shaped leaves. Then we have my personal favorite, Begonia Pink Minx. Look at that stunning leaf. Oh, a true beauty. Then we have a sad <laughs> Begonia Rose, uh, Crackling Rosy. Over here we have um, just a regular green Syngonium. I was given this by a friend and I love it because look at these lobes. I love when Syngoniums get lobes like this. So cool. Next is Begonia Matchmaker. And the Begonia in that corner is Begonia Lana. Right, there are all my Begonia babies. Uh, yes, I still have some Christmas decorations up. <laughs> now we head to the top shelf which is one of my favorites because it houses a good majority of my Hoyas and some Anthurium. And I do have a grow light right underneath. Okay, so first we have Hoya Linearis which is such a fuzzy adorable little Hoya. We have Discidia obovada or the watermelon Discidia. Then here we have Hoya numeraloides, which I always have a trouble pronouncing. Um, this one is definitely um, on the slower side for me. Uh, probably one of my slowest growing Hoya, which is probably my fault. Next we have Hoya megalaster. New leaf is not as big as the old leaf, but that's okay. Here we have one of my favorite plants, and it is just an array of Ripsalis cuttings. So it's all different, as you can see, and I love it a lot. It's just, it's doing really well for me. Look at the cute little new growth on there. Here we have a tiny little baby, Hoya Obscura. And I have a Hoya Maniparensis, which I'm surprised is doing so well for me. Here we have Hoya Polyneura that is doing pretty well. These leaves here are just from uh, the previous person, like the person I bought it from, and I did chop her up for a trade, but she's doing great. Oh, look at those, look at that vein. Love it, love this plant. Uh, here we have Hoya Curtisii, which is doing really great. I have a bigger one of this and the, that one is just horrible, but this one is doing amazing. I started this one from cuttings actually. Over here we have Hoya Rotundiflora, which used to have more leaves, but then I cut a vine for a trade um, and she's working on another little leaf right there. Well, there you go, look at how cute that is. Here we have Hoya Sigitalis, which is also putting out a new leaf. That's really exciting. Then over here is Hoya Fitchii, shooting out all new growth. Over here we have variegated Hoya Wayetii. Then a Hoya Lacunosa that I'm finally getting to grow. And then we have the adorable little Hoya Mathild. I can't even explain to you how much I love this plant. Look at these adorable little leaves. Oh, so cute. She might be a little thirsty. Yeah, I gotta water her. And then we have a variegated Hoya Compacta. Moving 
Going further back, we have some Hoya Macrophylla cuttings that I just planted up that I plan on doing a giveaway with soon. And back there, an Ethereum Magnificum. And look at that beautiful, beautiful leaf. Ooh, so sparkly, so pretty, so velvety. And then behind this Ripsalis, we have a beautiful Anthurium Doriaki. And this is the newest leaf that it just put out. As you can see, it's still light. It's still hardening off. Oh, she's so cute. She has a lot of leaves. I'm actually shook. <laughs> oh, look at those cute little leaves. Okay, this is definitely one of my top favorite plants. All right, so that is that shelf there, right underneath the begonia shelf. And now we're gonna go to the top and look at some more Hoya babes. Because <laughs> um, I just love Hoya. So first we have this crazy beast which is hoya obovada this plant has just been doing so well oh look at those aerial roots um this plant actually probably tripled in size while i had it over while i had it outside over the summer but oh, yeah such a good easygoing hoya and look at how cute these leaves are back here i have hoya macrophylla and I just, I have mixed feelings about that Hoya, to be honest, but she's a beast nonetheless. And next to her, I have Hoya Crimson Queen. I have Hoya Pubicalix that I'm finally getting to grow if you see those new leaves down there. Um, here I have Hoya Treubiana um, that had a new leaf coming out for me, but then I dropped it and broke the leaf off. Because, because why not? Here we have Decidia dragon jade that's in this beautiful handmade pot and she's also putting out new growth which is so cool i hope i get new growth all over the place with this such a cool funky plant here we have hoya dakii and just look at that beautiful heart-shaped veiny leaf oh so cute Behind that, we have Hoya fuwawawensis that I just potted up after propagating it. It is a little sunburnt, but hopefully I can get some new growth soon. Here we have Hoya callistophylla, and behind that is Hoya caudata, and you can see the new leaf on that one. Super cute. Here is variegated Hoya obovata splash. You can see the variegation in the middle, and you can see it's a lot splashier than my other obovata. And behind there is a curtisia I was telling you about that just loves to give me yellowing leaves for no reason. I don't know what her problem is. And then here is Hoya Australis Lisa. I actually gave this original plant root rot, and so I had to reroot it, and it's doing great. I love how, I love how pink these new leaves turn. So cute. And so there's everything on that shelf and everything here. Then we go down and we have a regular Monstera Deliciosa or Borzigiana. I'm not sure which one and she's a little dirty too. And then there we have my rubber tree, which is doing pretty well. I'm shocked how well it's doing since I brought it in for the winter. Here we have one of my top favorites, a lemon lime maranta. They're just so easygoing and so beautiful. I love that it's in that macrame hanger, just chilling there. It's just a real sort of statement piece. <laughs> we are going to be hitting this huge rack and i didn't expect this video to be so hard to film it's a lot of talking all right so we will just start at the bottom i just have some extra pots there in a watering can you know real pretty but here we have a rattlesnake calathea behind that is just a regular baby monstera juvenile monstera deliciosa here we have my 
trial store, my Stromanthi trial star. Behind there is a thirsty lemon lime uh, philodendron, like a, hmm, what's it called? A green goddess, I think it's called. And then here we have a philodendron black cardinal. And that's everything there on the bottom. They get super low light. I kind of want to get another light bar and put it at the top there, but we'll see. Now going up here, I love this shelf a lot. It kind of houses a array of plant families and genuses. I really love how I have them hanging at the top too. And as you can see, I have a lot of my Hoya closest to that grill light there and they really love it. So let's just start. First is Hoya Australis. Then here is Peperomia Hope. She is crazy. Next to that, we have my beautiful Philodendron Passizanum. Look at that leaf. Has a new leaf coming in there. It's gonna be massive. Then we have Tritoscantia Nanook. And behind over here, we have a baby lipstick plant, which has grown crazy recently. Here is a Philodendron Pedatum. Then, then my variegated Monstera Albo. This is the newest leaf it's put out. Oof, so pretty. Here we have Begonia Harmony's Firecracker and a Sigonium Chia Pent. This plant is so cool. These leaves are so matte. They feel really nice. And this is the newest leaf that is unfurling. So cute. This thing here, Philodendron Vericosum. She's doing all sorts of crazy things. <laughs> Philodendron Birkin. Look at that nice striped leaf. Ooh, so pretty. Then Syngonium Confetti, that's just kind of a work in progress. Here is a variegated Burrow Marks. I love how these leaves are more on the neon color than just like white or just yellow. It's really cool, but this plant really isn't that variegated. Hopefully it'll put out some variegated, hopefully it'll put out some more variegated leaves. Then up here we have a crazy long string of turtles. This is such an underrated plant. I really, really love the string of turtles. Look at how long it is. This is also a Peperomia, Peperomia pastrata. And here is another Tritoscantia. I cannot remember the color. It was getting lower light, so I put out some more greenish leaves. But now that I'm giving it more light, I think it'll start pushing out some more of these really cool purple striped leaves. Here we have a Philodendron Brandon T. Annum. This is some sort of philodendron. I think it's maybe a Plowmanii mix, hybrid, sort of. Um, I'm not sure. So if you have an answer, let me know. It's a weirdo for sure. <laughs> is one of my newer plants and it is Diefenbachia reflector. And look at how cool that is. Can't wait to see what the new leaf will look like. Hopefully it'll have some more of that light green and yellow in it. Here is a Philodendron Silver Sword. Look at that new leaf it's finally coming out with because I broke the previous leaf again. Ugh, I don't know what is it with me and breaking leaves lately. Over here, I have an air plant. That's actually my daughter's and a little cat planter, which is so cute. Um, some sort of succulent, it's a patchy, I forgot the name. There we have a cute little Horworthia that actually has some babies popping off. Over there is a Madagascar palm. I'm actually surprised it has not gone into dormancy yet. Here we have a Philodendron Florida Ghost. That's a new leaf that it just came out with. Very, very pretty. 
Here is another underrated philodendron, and that is the philodendron radiatum. I just think this plant is so cute. It definitely needs to be staked or on a moss pole. Here is a Monstera Peru. Then this one is Monstera siltipicana. I just love how scaly these leaves are, very like prehistoric looking. And up here is a dogtail cactus. Look at all that cool new growth. Who doesn't love hanging cacti? Like this, look at how cute and adorable that is. Next to that is Hoya lacunosa. Then we have Hoya compacta. And just look at that long tendril it has. I'm trying to go all the way over there into the Hoya weyerii. I just knocked this plant down, but <laughs> here is a philodendron subhastatum. Then over here we have a sad Diphenbachia starbright. I don't know why she's droopy. I just watered her last night. I need you to get your life together, baby. <laughs> then finishing off the hanging baskets, there is Hoya Bella and then Hoya Crimson Princess. And right over there is Hoya Bertonier, and in this corner is variegated Syngonium podophyllum. So there's everything in the second shelf. Now going up here, we have a Mandula pathos, a Begonia benigo, which just has smaller leaves. Super cute though. Here we have a sad jade satin skindapsis. And then here is a Hoya Chelsea. I have a grow light up here. That's why the color is kind of that purpley color. Back there is just a juvenile form of Monstera adansonii. Next to that, I have an Obsidian. Uh, orchid. I have yet to get this thing to bloom for me, um, but it's looking kind of thirsty. Sorry about that. And here is a black band Maranta. I did a trade and the lady said it wasn't doing too well for her, but it has all this new growth. So hopefully I can keep her happy. Here is a philodendron ring of fire. Over here, we have a Syndaptis treubii, and um, not sure why that leaf is curled. I guess I let it just get a little too thirsty, but just look at these beautiful silvery leaves. Oh, so pretty. Next to that is a Philodendron pink lady, and here is a Cebu, Cebu blue, or Epipremnum pinnatum has a blue tint to them. Such a cool, beautiful plant. I love this one a lot. Over here is a Monstera adansonii wide form, and the leaves are just wider and a little more fenestrated, holier. <laughs> uh, this one is my favorite. Behind that is a Pilea peperimoides. Over here is a baby Burl Marks Fantasy, which was a huge wish, la wish list plant of mine that I was able to get in a trade. So it's still a baby. I know one day I'll be able to get those big veiny leaves. A baby Philodendron Gloriosum, and I have some propagations here. Just a Hoya Parasitica, a Photonia, this is a Marble Queen Pothos that I'm just keeping in water. And there I have a sad <laughs> cutting of the Jade Satin. And then another Philodendron Painted Lady that is also propagating. Here we have a Philodendron po Pont, Philodendron Compost Portianum. And this is the newest leaf it came out with. It kind of looks like the philodendron micans. It's just, it's kind of crazy right now. <laughs> Definitely another plant that needs to be staked, but I kind of just have her growing here. 
amongst my queen and therium. So maybe they'll be able to <laughs> coincide one day. Here is a baby Anthurium vitarifolium. Lots of little leaves at the moment, but I'm giving it a little bit more light, so hopefully I'll get some big classic vitarifolium leaves soon. Then if we just come over to the side, this is an area I like to keep all sorts of hanging things. So first we have a Anthurium or Queenum or Anthurium, the Queen Anthurium. And this is her newest leaf. Getting those lobes at the top, like more mature War Queenum leaves and it's it's getting big. It's, it's, it's expanding. I haven't felt it hardening off yet. It's still pretty soft. So I know it's gonna keep growing and I can't wait to see how big it actually gets. And here I also have Anthurium, the King Anthurium or Anthurium Vecchii. That's his newest leaf, super ripped. <laughs> and behind that, I have a seedling of Anthurium Bakari, Bakari, I think. <laughs> so one day I'll have a whole bunch of hanging pendant Anthurium and I can't wait to see what that looks like. And here is a regular string of hearts and there's also a variegated string of hearts and then we have the string of spades or string of daggers. So that's a baby, but I would love to see these all grow and hang down together. That'll be really pretty, just like a curtain of hearts and <laughs> daggers. And then I have a Hoya Carii that I just potted up and going to the top shelf, we just finished Everything on the third shelf <laughs> is a Peperomia Ruby Cascades that can't decide if it wants to live or die. Then I have a Peperomia Watermelon, a Watermelon Peperomia. And here is just a cutting of a Philodendron Brazil that I have potted up and now I'm just letting it do its own thing. Over there is another sort of <laughs> Sansevieria snake plant, Dracaena, whatever have you, next to a Samurai Sansevieria. And then I have a whole bunch of just propagations over there. I will leave the link in the description if you want to see that video. Behind there is a Pothos Enjoy. I have a Sissus Discolor that's propagating. And it's actually doing really well, even though those few leaves look kind of sad. I have a spider plant and then a Thanksgiving cactus. That was shelf number four. Now we're moving on to the top shelf, which means I'm almost done. Alrighty, sorry if the lighting is a little bad. Uh, so first is just a array of succulents that I have. Um, not sure what's going on here. This definitely needs some TLC. And back there I have, and back there I have another really cool climbing cactus, which is the, it's the peanut cactus. And back there is just some cacti that I potted up in a glass bowl. And here is a white ghost euphorbia, which has new growth and is coming out with leaves. Oh, that is so exciting. Here is supposed to be a silvery and, but I don't think so. Next is a ZZ plant, just a regular green one. And it's just really big and cool. Here is a silver squill. And then there is an aloe that's doing really well. And a baby whale fin Sansevieria because I rotted the mother. Behind the ZZ plant, we have some sort of coral cactus, which is just a grafted cactus. They put two different plants together and put them together. Here we have a Phalaenopsis orchid that just has purple flowers. Here we have some various snake plants and then a Philodendron Brazil that I have on the corner just to trail down. And over there we have some Christmas decorations still and a Coral Sea Sansevieria, I believe it is. Um, but yeah, it just chills there on the shelf. So we have officially covered everything in this area. <laughs> um, and then the next is just a little plant. 
Here is a Neon Pothos, followed by a Moonshine Sansevieria, a Black Raven ZZ, and then a Snake Plant Sarii, I believe it is. And then if we head to my kitchen, I'll just give you a brief overview. I did do an in-depth tour of the plants in my kitchen, and I will leave that linked below if you want to see that. But here are all my babies doing really well in this north facing window. Lots of peperomias, some begonias, a monstera stanleyana. So yeah, they all just really love it. Oh, and look at this new leaf on the jewel orchid. Oh, I wish I could pick it up, but it's so sparkly. Such a cool plant. Wow, thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the video. You're seriously a real one. I really do hope you decide to stick around and hit the subscribe button. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like houseplant tour videos. I will see you in my next video and I hope you all have a happy new year's. Bye.